the Department of Justice was very swift in responding to school board members who felt like they were being harassed and intimidated um, a couple months back. Does the president feel that the demonstrations outside of, say, Justice Alito's home, um, are those attempts to interfere or intimidate? Well, I think I did yesterday, but I'm happy to repeat because I think it's important for everybody to hear that the president's long-standing view has been that violence, threats, and intimidation of any kind have no place in political discourse. And we believe, of course, in peaceful protests. What I do find is interesting, um, and I think most many people have noted, is that there are voices on the right who have called out um, this uh, protests that are happening uh, while remaining <coughs> silent for years on protests that have happened outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State, or including threats made to women seeking reprodu reproductive health care or even an insurrection against our capital. So I know that there's an outrage right now, I guess, about uh, protests that have been peaceful to date, and we certainly continue to encourage that outside of judges' homes, and that's the president's position. But the silence is pretty deafening about all of the other intimidation that we've seen a to pending, a number of people. This is a pending okay, court Jen? case, though. That's where the federal law comes into place. This is a Yo. pending court case. Well, but I, I think that uh, intimidation and protests and intimidation outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State, uh, you know, intimidation and threats against people seeking legal reproductive health care uh, and against our capital and American democracy also warrant some outrage. And we haven't really seen that. On, on Monday, you said that the president strongly believes in the right to protest, that but such protests um, should never include violence, threats, or vandalism. And you specifically mentioned the ability of judges to be able to do their jobs. Um, is the administration worried that abortion rights protests may turn violent, and was there any specific group of protesters that that tweet was geared towards? Well, I think to be very clear, the uh, the protests outside of judges' homes have, have not turned violent, and I don't think we need to make a prediction of that from here. Just because people are passionate, it does not mean they are violent, and I think, and that's why you're asking the question, Ashley. Um, but I think it is important to, the president felt it was important for us to be clear that as people's passions are high, as people are fearful about their own health care, that should never resort to violence, should never resort to vandalism. And we have seen some elements of that, vandalism. And he wanted to be clear that um, his position was to call for peaceful protest. And on a similar theme, Senator Collins called the police over the weekend um, after someone wrote a non-threatening abortion rights message uh, in sidewalk chalk in front of her house in Maine. Um, I was just curious sort of what you made of that, of her response. Uh, I don't have any specific comment on her response other than to say that even as passions are high, even as people are fearful, even as people are scared and frustrated, which is understandable, we should not, no one should resort to violence, of course, nor threats, nor intimidation, nor vandalism, um, and that those are not effective means. I'll let others define that, but there are lots of ways to peaceful protest. What's also important to note here is what I would call the hypocrisy of the silence on the other side when there have been intimidation, protests uh, outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State. Um, there have been countless women who have dealt with and navigated through threats made as they're seeking reproductive health care, which, by the way, has been legal for 50 years. And there has been no outcry about that. There has been outcry about uh, about protests that have been peaceful outside of judges' homes, which, again, uh, you know, have been peaceful and have not been violent. And the president has been clear about his view on them.